Right, so it is day two of our author study, author illustrator study on Lois Ellert. And today we are going to be talking about how Lois Ellert helps her readers learn. So we will be looking at the book Eating the Alphabet, Fruits and Vegetables from A to Z by Lois Ellert. And this is a nonfiction book, and we're going to look at the different ways that we know that and the different things that Lois Ellert includes that help her readers. Now first, we'll review what we learned yesterday. We learned about how she gets her ideas, and she said a lot of her ideas come from things all around her. So looking at the illustration and listening to her ideas, or the topic, would be fruits and vegetables. We learned about the pictures, that they're colorful collages, and I see that that is very true. That I can see in this book. Now, how does Lois Ehlert help us learn? I want you to take a quick peek. I took a screenshot of two of the pages in the book. See what you notice about the letters and the words and what you think you might see in the top right, and we'll talk about it. First thing you might have noticed is that the letters all have uppercase and lowercase letters. Same with the word, this is huckleberry, huckleberry. Why might Lois Ehlert have done that? How could that help us as readers? That helps us see the letters, both uppercase and lowercase, that's good review. It's also good review of our letter sounds. We know H for huckleberry, <laughs> huckleberry. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but that's a glossary. Now, a glossary is in the back of the book, and it teaches us more about something that was in the book. And we see those a lot in nonfiction texts. So one thing you'll see here, it says glossary of fruits and vegetables in this book. It says the name. It has a little picture to tell you which one it is. It has the pronunciation or how you say it. And then it teaches you facts about that food. So here, another picture you'll see every time you have the uppercase and lowercase letters. And then I could go through, if I see blueberry, I want to know more about blueberries. I could go to the glossary and find blueberry. I see the picture of the blueberry. I see the word blueberry. It's right here. It's a fruit. It says the blueberry first was a wild North American berry. It grows on a shrub. Native Americans taught settlers how to dry the berries for use all winter long. So you will be listening to the book. And then there's a couple responses that you might choose to do. I gave a couple examples. So the first one would be writing a page where you pick a food. Maybe it's a food that was in the book. Maybe it's not. It says, eating the alphabet, yum, yum, yum. Blank is for blank. I want some, yum, some, they end in, um, those are rhyming words. So you would pick a food, you would illustrate it, and then you would follow that letter and then word. So I made a quick example. I said, G, I did uppercase and lowercase, is for grapes, I want some. If it's a word that's not in the book, when you spell it on your own, just remember to sound it out. Grr, A, I know it's a long A, I put a magic E there. Grapes, grapes. Another choice, you might choose to go through and either make a list of different foods that you can think of that start with each letter or different things. Or I went through, I had old magazines and old ads, old um, coupons and stuff. And I just looked and tried to find as many things for each letter that I could. Now, if you don't have magazines or ads, maybe you draw them. Maybe you um, just make a list of words. Maybe it's not something that you can cut up. Maybe it's a book but you can use those to help you and look at the pictures and then you can write it and draw it. 
So that's a couple examples of things that you could do to respond to the story. But to review, we know that this is nonfiction because we see that there are true things and that there are facts about those things. And the last thing that I want you to do is I want you to pick a, food, a fruit or vegetable while you go through, one that's interesting to you. And I want you to have an adult or someone who is, or maybe yourself, read more about it. Pick a food that you don't know much about or you're interested in, maybe something you've never had before you don't know much about. And take a peek at the glossary. Can't wait to see what you choose to do as a response. Have a great day, ladies. Bye-bye.